Good morning, Danny. It's April 17th, and since you wanted some advice on what to do for your interview, I'm going to be coming from campus today. First off, you were forged in the fiery depths of Mount Awesomeness, and therefore all of your nervous energy should actually be channeled into you becoming Super Saiyan. Side note, I'm really glad that you watched all that Dragon Ball Z when we were kids, because now I can laugh at all the Dragon Ball Z jokes. But back to the point at hand. Group interviews were clearly designed by someone who hates people. There is no other explanation. I think everyone can uniquely demonstrate why they are the best person for the job if you just allow them to do that. There are people like me who just like to observe the group dynamics so that they don't make a fool of themselves. And that is a completely valid thing to do. It allows you not to be a dick in front of the whole group and to actually figure out how you should be acting in front of these new people that you've never met. But here's the thing, group interviews tell you that that's the wrong attitude to take. Speak up. Speak out. Be loud. Oh, and be sure to peacock the hell out of yourself. Now in my opinion, I don't really want a peacock working for me. Their feathers get all over the place and then there's the squawking. Or do I want someone who's a good worker? Someone that I can depend on to get the job done. You know, someone who won't tie me up and steal all the money out of the register. I wish I had awesome advice to give you. The only group interview I've ever done was with Apple. So, I don't have a lot of experience with them. And I remember feeling the same way that you do. That it sucked. I really only have one piece of advice for you to remember during your interview. Danny, don't forget to be awesome. You want this job. And they know that you want this job. So here's your chance to show them why you want the job and why you're the best person for it. Good luck and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, wait, maybe two pieces of advice. Don't be a bag of dicks.